Adding Google Authentication to an SPA using a Laravel API is surprisingly easy. It doesn't even matter what your SPA is built on. It could be React, it could be Vue, Svelte, Next.js, Angular, Nuxt, it doesn't matter. This works the same with any frontend stack. Now, before getting into the step-by-step -step implementation, let's have a quick look over the entire flow. We have our SPA, the Laravel API, and Google. To initiate the authentication, we'll click a link that sends a request to our Laravel API. This will create a session on the server, and then Laravel will redirect us to Google using a client ID which we get when we create a Google project, and the redirect URI that points back to our Laravel API. Google will then verify the client ID and redirect URI and ask the user to allow access. Once access is granted, Google will make a request to our Laravel API with an auth code. We can then use that auth code along with other details to ask for an access token. Once we get the access token, we can finally ask Google for the user details. Once we receive the user details, we can then find or create a user based on the Google ID and authenticate them, which will essentially update our session with the user ID. From now on, every subsequent request sent from the SPA will have a session ID pointing to a session that has an associated user, aka we are logged in. Now before we start, I am assuming you have Laravel Sanctum properly configured and that you have a way to fetch the user before rendering the page. These are like our preconditions. The first thing we need to do is create a Google project and obtain a client ID and client secret key. Feel free to skip this part if you already know how to do it. To create a Google project, go to consolecloudgoogle.com, search for create project, enter the project name and hit create. Now look on the top left and make sure the project you've just created is selected. Then search for auth consent screen, click it and unless you have an organization configured, select external and then hit create. Enter the name of your application, select your email for user support and then scroll down to developer contact information, enter your email again and hit save and continue. On the scope step, click add or remove scopes, select user info email and user info profile, click update, then scroll down and click save and continue. Click on add users and add any Gmail accounts that will be used for testing purposes. Save and continue and we are done configuring the OAuth consent screen. Next up, we need credentials. Click on create credentials, select OAuth client ID, select web application, enter a name for it, and then on authorized redirect URIs, click on the add button and enter the URI where Google should send the auth code. The format I usually go for is domain slash auth slash Google slash callback. Of course, you'll have to add similar URIs for production and other stage environments you might have. Hit create and here is our Google client ID and Google client secret. The next thing we need to do is install Laravel Socialite, which is a first party package that allows us to easily authenticate with OAuth providers like Google, Facebook, Apple, GitHub, and another zillion ones you can find on socialiteproviders.com. There's a provider for anything. Once that's pulled in, we'll open our web routes file and add two new routes. One get route for auth Google redirect and another one for auth Google callback. Now the first one will be redirecting us to Google. We'll return a call to socialite driver Google and then call the redirect method. This driver method resolves the Google OAuth provider with credentials found in the services config file under the Google key. There is no such key here so we'll have to add it. This will be an array with client ID and we'll get the value from an environment variable called Google client ID. Then we'll have client secret and env Google client secret and redirect which will be env Google redirect. Now we'll take these environment variables and add them to our env file. Then we'll go to our Google project client and get the client ID, client secret, and redirect URI. Here we can just grab the relative path. Let's close these, go to our callback route and add the DD of request all to see all the request data. And then go in the browser to localhost of Google redirect. It will ask us to choose our Google account, hit continue to allow access, and then we are redirected to the callback route with the auth code. So far so good. Back to our callback route, we'll need the same Google provider, but this time we'll call the user method. Behind the scenes, this user method will make two requests, one to fetch an access token using the auth code and another one to fetch the user details using the access token we received. Let's again go to localhost of Google redirect, grant access. We'll now be redirected to the callback route where we'll see the user details coming from Google. The next thing we need to do is find or create a user record based on the Google ID. 
But before we do that, we'll need to add a new Google ID column to our users table. So I'll open the terminal and run php artisan make migration add Google ID to users. I'll open the migration file and add a new string column, Google ID, make it nullable, and then on the down method, we'll just drop column Google ID. Let's run the migration and then open our user model and add Google ID to the fillable array. Now that we have a Google ID column, we can go to our callback route, put the Google user into its own variable, and then call the user update or create method to find update or create a user that matches our Google user ID with the following attributes. Name, Google user name, email, Google user email, and for password, we'll use the string class to generate a password of say 12 characters. I'll put this into a user variable, and then down here, did it. Now if we go in the browser to the redirect route, a new user is created based on the Google account details. All we have to do next is authenticate our user for which we can use the auth login method and then return a redirect to the config app frontend URL slash dashboard, which is an existing route on our frontend application. Finally, we can go to our frontend app, open the login view component, and all we need to do is add the link pointing to localhost of Google redirect, login with Google, go in the browser, open a new tab, go to the frontend app, click login with Google, and we are logged in, but our email is not yet verified. Since we are coming from a Gmail account, it makes sense for our email to be marked as verified. So I'll go inside the user model, and add email verify that to the fillable array. And then inside our Google callback, I'll set email verified at to now, which is the current date. Then I'll go in the browser, log out, log in with Google, and our email is now verified. Back to our Laravel project, we can do a bit of cleanup. I'll open the terminal and create a new controller using PHP artisan make controller, Google auth controller, open it, add a redirect method, I'll go ahead and copy the function from the routes file, paste it in, and then add a callback function, which I will again copy from the routes file. We'll import everything. Go back to the routes file and use the newly created controller actions. Let's do a final test. I'll log out, log in with Google, and here we are. 